Do those three things and your Amazon business is destined to fail in 2020. What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing. Also give this video a thumbs up and be sure to hit the bell as I drop brand new videos every single Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern about Amazon FBA tips and tricks that you can take and you know put in your business, put to work in your business today. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys have watched many other YouTube videos and, uh, you know, people's success stories and people crushing it, totally crushing it with Amazon. But what you don't see are the failures. There are definitely a lot more failures than there are success stories. You only see the glamorous things, right? And either because you are being sold on another course or maybe because, you know, people really just only like to talk about their successes, not their failures, you know? Now, stats have it that 90% of beginner Amazon sellers actually do fail. I know that is a staggering and crazy and scary number for you, um, but it is true. And the following three things really have a lot to do with the reason why this number is very high. It's simply the same as when you launch a brand new listing on Amazon. When you first put it up on Amazon, Amazon throws you all the way in the back of the searches. And really 80% of sales happen among the top 10 listings. So you look at it, top 10, 80% of sales, everyone else only 20%, crazy number. And this is exactly why many people fail because of many things, right? But the following three things are the top three. Now be sure to stick around all the way until the end of this video as I do have an awesome surprise for you. So let's go into and drill what those three things are. Number one is not being unique enough. And what I mean by that is not launching unique enough products. You see, 90% of beginner Amazon sellers are people that want to start an online business. They see all these gurus with Ferraris and mansions and they want to do the same thing, you know? They look at their current lives, they're stuck maybe at a dead-end job or maybe, you know, just things are not going well and then they see others doing well, you know, traveling the world and, and enjoying life and they want to be like them. So what they start doing is they start looking around their homes, right? Like for me personally, maybe paper towel or toilet paper or whatever, you know, like I ask, I would ask my wife like, hey, what is it that you buy all the time? And say, okay, you know what? This is probably a good thing that I should probably start selling on Amazon. Wrong. And simply because if you are thinking that, Imagine how many other people around the world are thinking the same exact thing. And that is the most thing that really, you know, that has to do with why many people fail with selling on Amazon. Now you may wonder, but Bashar, when I go on Amazon, people selling things like toilet paper, paper towel, you know, uh, diapers, things that you use around the house all the time. You know, I know I'm, as a consumer, I buy them all the time. Yes, I do buy them all the time. And there are a bunch of people doing great on Amazon, but you see, you gotta understand, the competition is great. The competition is massive. There are big brands doing these things. Just because I launched a product a year ago does not mean you can come and launch the same exact product today and still become successful simply because that niche has gotten very, very, very competitive. And I also have my own brand. I also have my own customers. And you can't just come and try to climb yourself up to the top, right? Because as many of you guys know by now is that when it comes to selling on Amazon, you need reviews and you need, you know, sales. Reviews, what they do is they help you really, it's like credibility. I know when me and my wife want to go try at a new restaurant, the first thing we do is check Yelp. Make sure that, you know, this place that we've never been to has good reviews, right? So reviews really generate credibility. So if your top competitors have thousands of reviews, how exactly are you as a brand new seller with either no reviews or, you know, little to no reviews are gonna make it and try to compete, you know? The second thing is listening to too many people. Now you may wonder, what exactly do you mean by that? Well, here's what I mean. Many people out there, when they try to start to do something, they go into what is called a research mode, right? And that's probably you, and that was me a few years ago, and that is me every time I try to do something new, and that is okay. That's actually the good way of doing it. However, what happens is you start listening to 10 different people, and the problem with that is that everyone got their own way of doing things. I am successful, five other people might be successful and you might be listening to all of us at the same time, but I have my own ways of doing things and they each have their own ways of doing things and our information might be conflicting against each other and then you will be left in the middle not knowing who to follow, right? So what I suggest to you is if you are watching me and watching five other guys, you either dump, you know, four of us, you can dump me first, I'm okay with that, and I listen to just one guy, maybe dump the other four and listen to me, right? Because 
you know, everyone is gonna tell you something different because you are a beginner, because this is the first time that you're doing this, or maybe you have tried doing this, but you're just not successful yet and you haven't really cracked the code just yet, right? You're gonna be very confused and and kind of be in the, in the middle of, of not knowing, you know, being pulled in different directions and not know really, you know, who to follow and what is really the exact way, the right way of doing this. And to be 100% honest with you, having too many mentors or too many people that are guiding you is literally worse than not having a mentor or any guidance whatsoever. And that takes us to number three, which is not having a mentor, not having a guidance, not having a blueprint and doing it on your own. Now you see many people get out there and say, you know what, if this guy can do it, I can probably do it as well, right? If this guy has figured out how to sell on Amazon or really anything, I can do it and you are definitely right. That was me five, six years ago when I first started my restaurant business, right? I seen all these other you know, people with successful restaurants and I didn't really see, it's like, you know when they say you only see the tip of the iceberg, you don't see really what's below the surface, you know? You don't see the grind and the hustle and the bustle to get to where they are right now. You only see the glamorous things because people don't really like to talk about the failures. People only like to show off the glamour, you know, the, only the, the good stuff, right? So you think that, you know what, this person just, you know, maybe uh, 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 pressed a couple buttons and then bam, you know, things started working out for them. So if they can figure it out, if they could do it, I can probably do it. But many people don't tell you that they had to go through trial and error. They had to go through learning phase. There's that learning phase, right? And yes, you can probably figure it all out on your own. However, it might take you six months and it might take you a year or even two years. You might never figure it out and you might even give up before you even get there. And it probably will cost you a lot more time um, and a lot more money than you really think. You know, where instead you can invest 500,000, 2,000, whatever the money is into a course or a mentoring program or whatever it is and, and, and have them collapse that time accelerate the learning curve and get to profitability but most importantly avoid making simple mistakes that can cost you a lot in the long run and believe me i know you know it comes from experience because number one i lost hundreds of thousands of dollars on, in my restaurant business before i started selling on amazon simply because I thought the same thing and I also wanted to, you know, try to do it on my own and I had too big of an ego to even ask for help and when people, you know, said, hey, here is my help, I said, no, get the hell out, right? So don't be Bashar five, six years ago, right? Be Bashar today, right? Every single month I invest three to five thousand dollars per month, right, on self-development courses, mentors, masterminds, consultants because I know that in order for me to go to the next level, I need a new information because the information I have today has only gotten me so far, right? And instead of me trying to go through trial and error, I'd rather have someone pay them for their knowledge and simply collapse that time and get to where I want to go a lot quicker. So guys, once again, just a recap. Number one, make sure that you are being unique enough. Don't look at just you know anything around the house and try to sell it on Amazon. Number two, don't listen to multiple people. Pick one person that you like and then just go all the way. Number three is you know uh, make sure that you don't do it on your own because there is a better way, there is an easier way, there is a faster way. If you want the the people ask me what is the shortcut to success, I tell them piggyback on someone else's success. Do not reinvent the wheel. Someone has already done it before you, so simply tap into the resources and then let them help you through it. Once again, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if it is your first time. Hit the bell. Also, share with your friends if you found value in it. Now, if you're like, you know what, Bashar, I don't want to go through trial and error. I don't want to do it on my own. I want to have someone help me. And I don't want to listen to 10 people. You know, I want you to teach me. Well, that's awesome. In the comment section below, or actually in the description below, there's a link to an application process. It'll probably take you about five minutes or so. Um, you know, it'll, we'll ask you a couple, you know, a couple questions. Then you'll hop on a call with either me or one of my team members, where we'll simply discuss if, you know, if selling on Amazon is something that's good for you. And also if we can help you get there. And if it is, we'll help you and kind of explain to you what your options are. And we'll tell you how working with me directly looks like. So once again, Bashar Katu here. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next Thursday. Have yourselves a great week and take care.